Hello, hello, hello! Welcome to James Mix. For today's video, we are making this wonderful concept made by the lovely Juan Bernos. I hope I pronounced that correctly. I'm sorry if I didn't. Um, he made this wonderful concept, uh, and I asked him on ArtStation if I can use it, and he lovely did. So, I am going to make... I think I really like this one but i sure as hell want to work on this one uh but i think i'm gonna stick to this i think this is probably the gun that i'm gonna be working on because it's simple i like the shape i like the little band i think that's bone i i'm just gonna interpret it as like rope or like bandages or something but yeah, it's, it's a super cool concept. I link the art station down in the description for his art station. Super dope. And uh, let's get to working on it. Okay. And uh, so far, a little update. Uh, I went now to 4.0, so now I have to get used to this new ass menu. Um, okay, where is the cube? There it is. Uh, but besides that, I also have just checked the stylized tree video which by the way took a little longer than expected because of uh sony vegas being really dumb but i have now switched ladies and gentlemen i have now switched i'm i'm afraid for any of the vegas boys out there i have finally switched to da vinci i know i know it's been it's now basically the industry standard but I already used Da Vinci like before when I was just testing it out, but I don't know, the, uh, Vegas just felt like home, right? Until... <laughs> until yesterday. Yesterday, it was a hell. It was just like not wanting to cooperate. The render speeds are horrendous. It was just, a, it was just terrible. Like, I don't know what to tell you. It's just so bad that I was practically forced to use Da Vinci. In fact, I used Da Vinci for my podcast episode. That was the one that broke me. It was like, brother, it's just a podcast. I don't know why Vegas is breaking on a podcast. It doesn't make sense. So I decided, you know what? I'm not going to deal with this. I think Vegas has served me long enough. And also, I need to learn more software anyway. I was thinking of going to Blender, but you know what? Their, their VSC is not that good yet so well they are like good enough but they're not like i think i want to learn something that at least i'll have to put in my resume or something but i decided i am now making the switch and i'm just gonna make all my videos from now on in resolve it's just it it is just the way that it is there's just nothing that i can do uh, vegas just forced my hand into it and uh, unfortunately that's the end of it with me and Vegas. I had such a very colored history with Vegas. Like, it's basically the first uh, video editing software that I used. Like, aside from Windows Movie Maker, if you guys even know what that is. I don't even know if, if anyone in, this, uh, in the comments would know what it is, but it's basically the default video editing software that came with Windows. And this was at Windows 7, which still, in my opinion, the best OS. I don't give a shit if, like, Windows 11 can now, like, talk to me like Cortana or some shit. Um, I'm still gonna like Windows 7. Windows 7 was peak, uh, peak OS design. I don't, I don't care about anything else. It, it looks really good. The settings made sense everything was just in place maybe i was just me being jaded right like well there's actually a bunch of accessibility features that are not present in windows 7 yada 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 that kind of thing but i don't care in my mind windows 7 will always be the best okay so currently for those people who are wondering i'm just blocking out the gun uh i believe i don't know like okay i guess i'm just gonna have to create some some sort of slot for this because it doesn't seem to be a slot i'm also gonna mirror this on the other side just to make it easier and uh you know 
You should always do that when you get the chance. If you have an opportunity to mirror something, do it. Because it practically is easy work. That means you cut your work in half. Like, you don't, you don't need to do the other side of the model. In fact, the tree was kind of a dumb thing to start working on for this channel. Because the tree literally was like... It was like different on all sides. Which is the worst thing to work on. Because what you're supposed to do, you're supposed to work on something that is symmetrical, like a sword or an axe or something like that. No, instead, I worked on a tree, which is, like, if I worked on a symmetrical tree, it would have worked fine. But no, I decided it was going to be, like, a, a fancy, like, I don't know, like, big, thick old tree. Like, I don't know what's wrong with me. I also don't know what workflow I'm going to go with this one. Last time, I did a regular hand-painted thing. I think for this round, I think I'm gonna do sculpting. I'm gonna do a sculpt, and then I'm gonna do texturing. Because what I can also do uh, is I can use it like a uh, substance designer, where or substance painter, where I can like paint with ambient occlusion and just make procedural materials on the fly. And then hand paint on top of that, and that will be, you know, nice and dandy. The one thing that I do think is important is I gotta make sure I don't rely on normals. Because I almost went for normals in the tree model because I felt like it was falling flat. Uh, which, by the way, I look back on it and I'm like, oh, it's actually not as bad as I was looking at it. Because I'm not gonna lie to you. Four, like, hours in, when I was making that tree, I was like, get me the fuck away from this tree. <laughs> get me away from this tree, bro. I hate this tree. This tree looks like shit, you know? I was so, like, just molding and just didn't want to work on the tree anymore because it looks so bad in my eyes. But, you know, all I needed was to sleep. And then I looked back on it the next day and I was like, oh shit, it actually doesn't look half bad. It still looks like I can still see things. Like for instance, the freaking, uh, what you call it? The actual tree trunk just is not, it's not that good. Like I wish I would have modeled it in a way where it would have had more geometry. Uh, I kept it a little too low poly and I just didn't I didn't conform the shape to what it's supposed to be and then it's just you know it kind of just felt a little flat so that's kind of like what I wish I did but besides that I think I'm good holy fuck my proportions are ass jeez um let me just fix this so yeah I think I'm planning to work on... What do I want to work on for next month? For November, I want to work on sculpting. Like, I sure, I sure I can, like, sculpt, like, regular objects like this. But, like, I want to get into character sculpting. I don't know. Like, I've always wanted to be a character artist. But I always knew that I suck at characters. <laughs> like... I wish I was a character artist, but no, unfortunately, it's just not how the cookie crumbles. I'm just not that good at it. So, I'm, I'm okay with props. I can do props, but I'm not good at characters. So, if I can improve on my character work, because that will also help me with uh, painting, then that would be great. I also already have an idea for, uh, for the, the splash painting that I'm gonna do. It's a bit, it's a bit, uh, what do you, what would you call it? Like, cheesy? I think it's cheesy anyway. But, I've recently been watching this streamer called Aurora Peachy. You can, actually, I can, I'll link him, I'll link her in the description. And she's been playing Mario RPG, which is, like, the remake where it was, like, made, like, I don't know, like, 20-something odd years ago. It's, like, super old. And then they remade it, and for some reason, her reaction to it was so cool and just so... It filled with so much happiness 
that I was like, man, that is so cool. I wish I can be that excited about something because I haven't, I, I don't remember a time when I am that excited about something. I wish I'm excited about something as much as that, right? Like, what would make me excited? If they, I'm, I was about to say Plants vs. Zombies 3, but they literally made that and it sucks ass. So I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know if I, if I want that. Um, you know, like, I, I, I don't even know, right? I personally haven't really had, like, a a fandom or like something that I'm really into. My sister is into like, you know, a bunch of things. And you know, that gives her happiness. But for me, I, I haven't really been able to find anything that like suits my interest. Aside from this, like 3D and like I admire people's work, aka just wallow in my own like just not being good. <laughs> but like, I I think the energy that she gave when she loved the game is just so nice that, I don't know, it makes my day better. So, if you ever get the chance, go ahead and uh, if you're having a bad day or something like that, give her a watch. Or actually, watch anyone that you, you know, that sort of gives you comfort. That's kind of the point of a content creator. They're supposed to make you feel better uh, by entertaining you. I don't know how this skull is going to work. I just realized that. Um, I don't know what this is. I think this is like a sign, like a paint. I don't really know what this is. It could be like an engraving. I can make it an engraving instead. Yeah, that makes sense because everything is a wood. Everything's made of wood, which is why it gravitated. I gravitated towards this immediately because, like, oh, a wooden gun, and it's like a Halloween gun. It's like, whoa, spooky, yeah. You know? <laughs> um, so yeah, I, I don't know why that the gravitated me towards so much. Anyways, back to Peachy. I, yeah, so I've been catching up with her streams on Super Mario RPG. I kept sleeping in the middle of her stream because she streams at like 2 a.m. my time so I basically just use her before uh like I go to sleep like I just watch her until I fall asleep and uh yeah it's just been a nice uh nice sort of de-stress nice way to chill out for the day I used to watch InSim I think I already told this on stream but yeah I I, I used to watch InSim when I, you know, go to sleep. Now I watch her. But I might go back to InSim if ever I feel like I wanna... Like, I, I often watch InSim when there's an update to Phasmophobia. <laughs> that's that's usually when I watch him. Like, aside from that, I I don't really... I, I don't... I, I think I still watch his, like, you know... I, I watched his It Steals playthrough. But aside from that, I mean, I don't really know anything else, really. So... I'm sorry, Ensim. I really liked your FNAF playthrough, though. Your FNAF playthrough was really fun. Because it's like a... I think it's it's very odd seeing someone who probably hasn't really, you know... He hasn't really been in the like FNAF community play FNAF for the first time. And when I saw that, I was like, man, there are a lot of things that are just like, yep, that's FNAF. Like, for instance, the sound being, like, ridiculously unbalanced. Which sort of adds to the fear factor, but also, I mean, it's just imbalanced. Like, <laughs> the audio is just not, you know... Audio work for Scott Cotton is not his best work, you know? Well, kind of. I did watch a video where it's like, why Scott Cotton's sound design is actually genius or something like that. Some, some video like that. And I was like, oh, yeah, I mean, it, it does make sense because it is like a unique way of handling sound design. I just don't think he intended it. <laughs> I just don't think he intended it to be like that. I think he just kind of stumbled upon it. But, uh, you know, good for him, I guess. Let's see, bridge. Okay, this is a good block out. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna add more polys to this. Because, I mean, so far the shading looks like shit. So I need to make that a little better. 
I'm gonna make the wrapping uh later. I'm gonna just I'm, I'm gonna try to cheese it. <laughs> I, I'll try to I'll try to cheat my way to making the wraps. Um, so this is like rounded, right? So this is rounded. There you go. I kind of want to work on like uh like game viz, which is probably what I'm supposed to be doing for my game dev stuff anyway, like making mock-ups. So I probably should do that in one one of the months where I just force myself to actually that could just be fully fully on December. I'll just work on it as the project, you know. That could very much be the thing. What the hell are these? Oh my god. I'm already fucking up my topology here. <laughs> this is what happens when you talk and you don't pay attention. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna mirror this bitch. I don't think I need to worry about this being different. I think I'm just gonna go for it. Uh, I think this is Z. Yeah? Yeah, there you go. Perfect. Is it perfect? It is almost. There you go. I wish that was a quad, but whatever. Okay. Uh, let's merge these to the center. Merge these to the center. Uh, by distance, bevel. I gotta be like not afraid of making making it more high poly than it is because for fuck's sake like we're not, we're not living in like the we're not living in like the 27th or i don't know why it's gravitated towards 2007. uh also that's not i said 27 what what the hell is the 27s bro are you living in the future what the hell are you doing time traveling looking ass <laughs> um yeah, like, I, I don't know why I'm so conscious of, like, poly count. I think it's just because that's how I got uh, trained into 3D. I'm like, oh, just be careful with your poly count. Don't go too high. It's like, bro, this is for portfolio. Yeah, this is not... <laughs> this, you, don't, you don't even need to make this game ready. This is not even an, an option, but whatever. I'm making a game ready anyway, because I want to. Okay. Um, let's make that curve. Uh, so this is like has a rounded profile on it. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna just move this out so that I can just see the profile right there. Something like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. There you go. I think I'm gonna space it out because yeah, it is. It does look very blocky currently. Also, by the way, uh, I don't know if you've noticed, but there's not music. <laughs> I'm, I apologize for the last one. I just cannot be bothered to add music on it. And so I just put, I just literally grabbed the raw file and I just plopped it on there and that was it. So. This is what it is. Man, what should I talk about? Probably shouldn't be talking anyway. I'm supposed to be working. But I love talking. I have uh, gotten a little bit more on Spanish. I now know a few more sentences. Uh, like, ¿Qué es esta? Or, ¿Qué es eso? Apparently, ¿Qué es esta? Is the same as this and that. So, I don't need to learn multiple words for this and that. Which is nice. Um, on the other hand... There's also like a few things that I'm like a little bit weirded out on, like the uh, the pronunciation stuff. Holy fuck! They are gonna be a pain in the ass because they have a different way they pronounce R, and in certain dialects they have like uh, they, they they change certain words, so now you have to adapt like adapt to that. Like for instance, my friends who. I'm trying to impress with my Spanish. Um, they are primarily in, like, one of them is in Venezuela or Venezuela. 
I keep for I keep messing up how that is pronounced. I'm sorry, but um, the uh, one of one of them is in Venezuela, and then one of them is in Argentina, and apparently they say uh, certain words differently. Like I think from what I remember, uh, instead of saying uh, "tu," they say "sho." Which is which means that if you're listening to the sentences, you just have to remember that like, oh, if they're saying Shaw, they actually mean two. So it's a bit it's a bit annoying because you know I'm I'm trying to learn just regular Spanish, but ap apparently regular Spanish isn't like that much used. Like usually they use like a neutral sort of Spanish. So that kind of sucks. I did also watch a video from, uh, I'll put a, man, I'm, I'm gonna have to remember to put all of these in the description, aren't I? Let me grab some water. I bought myself a giant ass two liter jug of water. And, uh, nice way to just have water on hand. But, um, I watched, uh, this channel called Language Simp. He's a hyper polyglot. I think he knows like a shit ton of languages or something. And... He talked about how language learning is one of the most frustrating things in the world, but also one of the most rewarding things in the world. So, you know, doesn't matter how you get there as long as you're having fun. That was like basically the message of the, the video. And also that he has merch, which, you know, nice plug. But I, uh, I, I found that to be very motivational because I was like, yeah, you know what? It is true. A lot of the things that are annoying about languages a lot of the times you just kind of have to embrace them and be like oh that's funny that's it like it doesn't it shouldn't break your interest of learning a language because at the end of the day if you really want to learn a language then you have to embrace those things you know and uh i i felt that that was the message of the video the message of the video was embrace the difficulty until one day it won't be difficult anymore so I found that very motivational. That was a that was a nice motivation boost for me. Speaking of motivation, I have been a bit on the fence about learning Japanese while also learning Spanish. Um, my goal that I put was sentences, both on Spanish and Japanese. Unfortunately, from what I've heard from multiple sources of how to learn Japanese, and by the way, I also know that you can just learn it regularly where you just learn hiragana and you learn katakana and you learn that shit. Uh, you learn the grammatic structures, that kind of thing. But I did that before. It didn't really work out for me. Like, it, it just doesn't stick to my head as well. Like, especially just, I don't know. Like, I, I just like having practical words on hand like practical sentences then i'll learn the grammar right that's that's how i that's how i like to learn like it, it's not for everybody and if you if you're planning to learn a language you can try the regular like grammar to vocabulary method uh if it works right because that's the thing as long as it works that's what the method should be um but from my personal experience, it just doesn't work out. Like my my uh, my brain doesn't want to remember it, and oftentimes I just completely forget it in like a week. And to be fair, in those times I wasn't very serious about learning a language, but now that I am serious, very serious, um, I uh, I found that having a more practical vocab. Is a little bit better for my brain to remember than like knowing arbitrary rules that don't really apply to anything yet so that's just me you know uh anyways what was i going with this right um i think it's very cool to see uh language learning as like a hobby because it's one of those hobbies where it's kind of like, as I told in my podcast, where you kind of have to go through it slowly. 
there is no fast way to do it which is kind of weird i usually would consider myself a very impatient person like especially when i was younger i was very impatient i i because i think i had anger issues when i was like young and i probably still do have something um somewhat of an ego most likely but uh yeah like i think that i like language learning because it's slow i think it's because i've also now dieting i've also done dieting and now dieting is like this very slow and very tedious process and yet it's like fine by me for some reason because i know like there's some sort of light at the end of the tunnel it's very strange it's a very strange relationship like i thought that i would that i thought that i would fail at it but no i i i have suddenly may have had a bit of a switch in my brain that made me like these things i i don't know i don't know what it is and i hope that it doesn't change because if it does then that's just unfortunate i might just bring my weight all the way back and then i also just lose all my progress in learning spanish and learning japanese so it's kind of not fun in it okay so i got most of this model to like a pretty high poly count we've spent 30 minutes so far by the way i did do pomodoro last time but in the in the later half of the video, the part two, I basically scrapped that and I just full forced it. So I think I'm gonna go try that. I'm gonna try full forcing it today. Uh, probably not recommended because you'll probably just burn out. But you know what? I did like watch something where it's apparently like getting into like a state where you're just like you know you're working and you like working, right? And to me, when I like working, I literally don't do anything but work. Like, it would be like 9 o'clock. And I would be like... And then I would be done. And then I realize, oh, I haven't eaten. I haven't, like, you know, done anything else but work on this for the past, like, 5 hours or something. Um, it, that's just me. I, for some reason, my brain just doesn't register it. But, uh... I like being in that state, oddly, even though it might not be that good for my health because, I don't know, it feels like I'm I'm actually making progress. I'm, like, making stuff that actually I'm interested in and that I am proud of and... Whoa. Oh. We had a bit of an electricity cut off here. Okay. <laughs> Uh, yeah, the electricity just cut off a bit. Okay. Luckily, I'm on a laptop, so hell yeah, it's getting handled by my AVR just fine. But if I was streaming this, this would have been uh, a bit of an oopsie. But uh, we're recording, baby. I've been liking recording more. Like, I, uh, I, I, I understand now why people record more, like videos. They don't, they don't live stream it. I think it's also because I'm not gonna lie to you. Okay, this is a safe space for me. Okay, this this uh, this this channel is a bit of a safe space. I could talk about whatever because, to be honest, most likely no one's gonna watch this. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you. No one's probably gonna watch this video. They're probably gonna just watch like five minutes in and realize, oh shit, it's just him talking to himself for like an hour or two hours, maybe five hours straight, right? And they'll leave the video and not realize that I've been talking shit to my own audience. I have sort of grown a disdain for my own audience. Not to say that I don't like them. In fact, I owe a lot to my audience. Like how I got here and how I eventually got to what I am. Unfortunately... I seem to be attracting a very specific audience where it's just a bunch of kids that probably have no like moral compass or don't have a proper moral compass 
and also kids that have oddly a lot of parental issues <laughs> like brother i'm i'm sorry to tell you this i know that you know we're cool and all but like i just kind of want to play games like for instance here's an example all right i'm gonna be calling out this guy a little bit but whatever um there's this person that i met on stream right i met him on stream and then i uh and he plays Team Fortress 2 because I play Team Fortress 2 on my uh, on my streams, right? I do the push-up challenge, and he uh, added me on Discord. And then after that little event on stream, I often also just play TF2 on my off time when I just don't have anything to do or I just want to pass the time, right? And he has been basically spamming and not exactly okay spamming is the wrong word he's been very hyperactive on my messages specifically right he he's very adamant on getting some sort of response or like asking for an opinion and oddly oversharing as well which is also a theme that i've seen a lot of the like like audience does which is like brother I'm not your therapist. I don't know why you're telling me this. <laughs> like, <laughs> like I don't know why this is uh, this is the case that we are in now. Um, but yeah, like I I now I have just silently like muted him on Discord because I'm like, brother, I just want to have someone to play TF2 with. I don't want to deal with like you know like I sure in the right circumstances like. If, if, like, you know, you need help, right? Then just ask me directly, right? Like, ask me directly, like, hey, yo, man, I need some help. I need some advice on this thing. Like, you know, my mom's being a bit of an annoying, you know, person. And, like, I I, I don't know what to do. I'm, I'm feeling really sad. And then, you know, I'll talk to you, right? Like, just be straight up with me. And don't fucking sprinkle in some depressive shit like while we're playing tf2 i'm i'm here to play tf2 not diagnose you by my five dollar like degree like i'm not gonna i'm not gonna do that and especially because i don't think i even have the right to do it because why would i why would i like give advice that might be harmful because i may don't know what i'm doing right I'm not a professional therapist. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. And then all of a sudden, I'm responsible for your mental health being. Like, I, I, like I've like i seen a video about this with the guy who made, like, shorts. He has, like, glasses. He's, like, pretty big. Like, I forgot his name. But he has this series where he, like, gives really bad ideas. Or, like, really bad. He calls it really bad ideas, but are actually good ideas. And he's on YouTube Shorts all, all the time. And he talked about being on break because apparently there were so many fans of his who talked to him and basically asked for advice, mentally speaking. Like, that is so much pressure to, like, behold to yourself that, like, I don't blame him for literally just cancel for, for, uh, for, like toggling off his uh his dms because that's ridiculous like why would anyone have to go through that right unless if you're like a really close friend sure you'll have to be empathetic but if it's like some random stranger on the internet unless if you explicitly told them i can i have some help or something like that i feel like i don't know i just i cannot be but i cannot <laughs> It's and this is the problem as well. It sounds rude if you say I can't be bothered, but a lot of the times, yes. It's like I'm here for a specific thing. I'm here to play TF2. I'm here to um play like I don't know what else. I'm here to play Terraria. I'm here to do certain things, right? I'm not here to talk to you in a public space about how your mom beats you, 
right? Like, I don't know what- how do you respond to that? And of course, you can't respond to it rudely, like what I'm trying to do- what I'm doing here. Well, I wouldn't say rudely, like, you, you can't respond to it brashly, because it makes you sound like a jerk. But also, you can't respond to it with, like, too much compassion, because all of a sudden, you start getting emotional. Because I'm a pretty emotional guy. Like, what the fuck am I supposed to do, man? So anyways, as I was saying, my audience has sort of been in that space. Like, sometimes they're just shitheads and they're like, okay, fine, whatever, I'll just block them. That's it. Like, that's... Like, oddly, that's easier to deal with. <laughs> I would rather have a shithead that just does not give a shit about, you know, uh, anyone's uh, common sense and well-being. I had this one guy who basically just posted... A gif of like porn and just like dm'd it to me and i'm like bitch what the fuck why are you sending this to my discord and then i just blocked him and then that's it that's easy end of story nothing no need to interact with you right nothing else that's it like that's easy if it's someone who's telling me that you know they're depressed and maybe planning to kill themselves then what the fuck am i supposed to do like Sure, I can tell them to, you know, uh, don't worry, it's gonna get better, but, like, is that the right thing to do? Like, in a, ter in a technical sense? Like, is that what a therapist, a professional therapist is supposed to do? Like, what the hell am I supposed to do in that situation? So, anyways, it's just, it's just frustrating, is all I'm trying to say. Like, I'm not, like, saying that my audience is bad. I'm just saying that a lot of the times, the reason is to me I, why I made a gaming channel in the first place is because I wanted an escape. Like, I freaking have a medical condition that has been affecting me for like three something years now. And it has been really rough. Sure, it has given me a lot of like positive uh, benefits where I am now way more creatively driven. I'm like, way more ambitious i'm way more motivated to do stuff but like it also most likely made me depressed it made me like existentially it gave me existential dread like it made me more anxious like that's the downsides and i never really like talking about that with other people because why would i talk about it with other people it's like like, it's none of their business, and also, I don't want to freaking make the mood down, right? I don't want to make it all of a sudden like, oh, it's about me now. It's about my problem, and I have a problem, and my problem's bigger than your problem. Like, I don't want that, right? So, uh, it's just hard. It's just really hard. I don't know what to do. And quite frankly, that's why I've been liking recording. I don't have to deal with that. I don't have to deal with, you know, just uh, random messages that can just piss me off. Which I don't really mind. I don't really mind if there's hate comments. Hell, there's literally a person in my chat. And his whole shtick is to just basically me... Uh, he, he only likes me if I'm in some sort of state where I'm suffering. That's it. That's his whole shtick. Like, he's also kind of weird because he's like, oh my gosh, you're so good at art. I, I wish I can be as good as you. And then when I am in pain or I'm in suffering, he's like, yes, yes. Like some knockoff dominatrix or some shit. But that's that's the thing I don't mind. It's like, it's his, it's his personality. Fuck it, all right? I, if that's what gets your kicks, sure, right? I'm willing to be your dummy so I can, so I can make you happy. But if it's those, like, uh, people who are, like, a little bit parasocial, it's like, okay, bro, <laughs> like, you gotta, you gotta, like, find a support group, or, like, find, like, find people that are willing to listen to you more in-depthly, or if you are gonna talk to me more in-depthly, talk to me, like, privately, like, I don't want to, I don't want to put this burden all of a sudden also to another few people like this doesn't it this doesn't bode well to anyone
So yeah, like that's why I've sort of been not liking live streams. There's also the technical reason. There's the YouTuber answer as well. Where it's like, well, it doesn't really give you that much watch time in terms of the amount of work that you do. Like, you would rather just make videos rather than just live stream anyway. Because if you live stream, it's just more work. And you're not getting as much output out of it. That's like the nerdy YouTube answer. But for the most part, that's my reason why I have sort of just got sick of streaming. Like... I think I'll, I'll still come back to streaming, but I'll most likely have rules in place. Which, by the way, this is a bit of a side tangent. Uh, I don't know why I fucked up my... Yeah, I fucked up my topology here. Whoops. Oh no! I did fuck up my topology, like, later on. Fuck. God damn it. Alright. Um, I don't know how people do... The, the the thing where they have rules that show up on their YouTube chat. How do people do that? Or is that like a thing that only you can do if like you're monetized or something? Like is that only like a monetized people feature? Because I want to add like a chat rules like in Twitch on YouTube. Like it's like because there is a feature like that. Where it shows up when you first go into a chat. And like... I cannot seem to find the option. I looked it up on YouTube support. And no one seems to know what I'm talking about. Like, bitch, this is literally a feature. I'm not crazy. You're crazy, right? So, I really want to add those rules. And one of the things that I just want to add is just like, well, uh, some basic rules. Like, no swearing. Or no, no excessive swearing. Because I do swear, but... You know, if you're just being a hat ass and just like not following common sense, then get the fuck out of my stream, right? Don't don't ruin the experience for me and for everybody else. Um But also I uh, I wanna add stuff like, you know, no uh like no uh, politics. There you go. No politics. I've seen so many chat messages where they want me to comment on a political issue that I, quite frankly, have little to no knowledge on because I practically don't really watch the news. So I haven't, I don't have an opinion on it yet. Like, especially because, you know, I just don't want to be depressed. I'm already freaking depressed. I don't think I want to be more depressed. <laughs> so. I, uh, I, I just don't have an opinion on it. And all of a sudden, these people are like, what is your opinion on this and this and that? And I'm like, I, I'm drawing, bro. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm playing TF2, bro. I'm not here to freaking run a campaign or, you know, get like a very mid answer. Like, I am just trying to have fun, Okay. Like, I, I just don't want to deal with politics, especially in this environment, especially on the internet. Like, if you want politics, like, we'll go to another stream, okay? Like, I, I'm not, I'm not dealing with it, okay? Just, just, just get away. I'm not, I'm not dealing with it. On the other hand, I would also probably like to add a rule where it's like, um, feel free to DM me for any personal concerns or something. Like... If you're willing to, like, be... To be more, um... Like, I'm okay when people trauma dump on me. Like, it's fine. As long as you tell me beforehand, right? Like, you, you don't... You don't just go and, like, trauma dump if you tell me that, like, Oh, we're playing TF2 later, right? Like, you're gonna... You're gonna preface with, Hey, can I talk to you for a sec? And, like, you know... I want to feel a little better or like I'm feeling very sad currently and then I'll talk to you, right? Like th don't just all of a sudden assume that once I'm uh, your friend on Discord, I you can now trauma dump to me at any point. It's like like I I just I'm not I'm not down for that, okay? I I want at least some transparency of what this whole shtick is going to be about. Like I don't mind like talking about very personal things to people. 
Like, in fact, I like talking. That's why I literally made a podcast channel and I made this channel because it's literally just a way for me to talk and make progress on my journey. Oh, I think someone's at the door. Okay, I'm back. Also, I just realized, wait, my music is not looping? Wait, it is. Wait, it's playing. Huh? It doesn't look like it has music. Wait, wait a second. What? I'm so confused. <laughs> It 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 looks like here. Is it moving? I can't tell. All right. Well, I guess the music's broken. I'm sorry, guys. I just, I, <laughs> I have no idea. Like the music seems to have just stopped, even though I have it on loop. It it is on loop. Hopefully, it is actually like looping. It says it's eight minutes in, so I hope to God that it actually works. But we'll see. Um, I don't even know why I'm wearing headphones. I'm not even listening to anything. Okay. Anyways. I don't really mind it when people, like, trauma dump. Like, I like talking to people. I like helping people. Like, I personally don't have, uh, as big of a burden when it comes to, like, helping people emotionally. Like, I don't mind helping people. I just want to make sure that, hey, if you want to talk about it, tell me. Like, you don't just randomly say it while we are you know like we're tf2 buddies or we're just you know you're a viewer of mine and all of a sudden you trauma dump this shit to me like you're telling me to do it like properly like a normal person like don't like just all of a sudden assume that i'm your best friend and then you're just gonna be trauma dumping all over the place because apparently i respond to you right like it's 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 not it's not very considerate if I'm gonna be completely honest. Anyways, I don't know why I went on this ramble so much. Maybe it's because it's just been the whole situation as to why I haven't been streaming. That's most likely why. So if you're wondering why, that's why. If anyone finally caught on about this channel, because most likely my original audience may not even go to this channel. They might, but that's very unlikely. But if they do, now you know. I don't even know what to do uh, for the videos on that channel. I'm trying to think. I did state my uh, my motivations, or like my, not motivations, my inspirations for the uh, the game dev videos. But besides that, I don't really know what else to, like, like, what videos do I make? Like, do I make devlogs about the game I'm making? Do I make, like, do I just do challenges or what? Like, I don't know. I gotta figure it out. Something like that. Uh, nose. I think I'm gonna just paint that on. I only really need geometry for the... Uh, actually... Sure, why not? Let's, let's, let's build the nose in. I know this is awful topology. There's probably a better way to do this, but I cannot be asked, <laughs> quite frankly. Um, here we go. And then I'm going to... Then it right there. Bang. Boom. There you go. Okay. That looks like a skull. I mean, I don't know how it looks. Like, just on the regular. It looks uh it looks pretty good actually. It's like a an animal skull or some kind. Looks sick. I'm gonna adjust it a bit. Just to make the shape a little nicer. The shading is also horrendous, I'm not gonna lie to you. This is why I typically work with high poly stuff. Like I don't I don't really like I wish I'm way better at low poly stuff. Because this this shading nonsense is just just annoying. <laughs> I don't want to deal with shading. 
like artifacts and stuff. I think I can also just fix it by like doing this. A lot of the times I can just fix the normals that way, but sometimes it just doesn't work. Okay, that's, like, good enough. I think I can, like, smooth the faces here a bit more. Like this. There you go. Stay with me. I don't know why that song is so catchy. The story of that singer is also really sad. I think I, I read a little bit about it, but apparently she uh, she ended up hating her career because she didn't end she she wasn't able to like uh, she wasn't able to like spend time with her family a lot of the times and she just got stuck on touring and she felt like her music wasn't actually important. And uh, she died basically not telling anyone that she's about to die. Like, she had, like, cancer or something. And it was, it was just really sad. I mean, to be fair, she, I think there was also something where, like, she, she, the reason why she didn't tell anyone was because she wanted to make sure that the last few moments of her life were actually the things that he wanted to do. So, at least she died probably wanting... Uh, died uh, doing what she wanted to do. But, you know, it's just a sad story in general. But man, what a bop. <laughs> what a bop. Why do depressed people make art a lot of the times? I think that's probably... I think I've heard that from someone. I, I was watching a sculptor. I think it's... Uh, what's his name? Nico? It has a channel called Speed Char Live. I'm gonna, again, I need to put this in the description because, oh my god. But he talked about how depressed people often make art because that's their only way to express their strong emotions on something. And it often leads to art. So I like, uh, I like that, actually. I like that analogy where it's like a lot of depressed people make art because that's the only way they can express themselves. So that's cool. Well, that's not cool, like in terms of like, oh, you're you're sad, but you know, in terms of a benefit for being depressed, I guess you're like more creative. I guess. A lot of the times also when you're an artist, you deal with like imposter syndrome a lot of the times where it's like, oh, you feel like you're not good enough or you feel like you, you're like, you're nowhere near what you are. Luckily, I've sort of coped up with it being that I, you know, it's just going to be a slow process and it takes time. And I've sort of, I sort of uh like embedded that into myself oddly because again i told you like i somehow rewired my brain where it's like i actually like waiting now like just being slow and methodical about it as long as i know i'm gonna get there right oddly there you go all right the shogun is uh shaping up pretty well it's a lot better than the tree i'm gonna tell you that <laughs> i'm gonna I'm gonna just be straight up. This took an hour to model. This will take maybe... I'd say... I don't even know how long to sculpt. Do I even need to sculpt this? Hell, I don't even need to. I don't, I don't think I need to sculpt this. Fuck it. I'm gonna just go straight to uh, poly modeling. No, not poly modeling. Uh, <laughs> texturing. But now I'm just gonna go straight to texturing. No need, no siree. Uh, this has, like, a hole in it. Um, I need to, like, make this circular. But it also needs to fit in there. There you go. 
Priest. Uh... Oh, there you go. Uh, I think I'm just gonna color that black, and then that's it. Okay, let's see how that looks. That does not look good. Uh, let's increase the size. Uh, where is it? Okay, so it's inside the skull. So I need to like make this a bit wider. There you go. That's also weird. How the hell is this gonna shoot out anyway? Um, maybe if I like. Increase the lip here a bit. There you go. That a boy. That way it's a little bit more. Like it makes more sense how it's gonna how that's gonna shoot. Um I also probably need to separate these by loose parts just so that it's easier to work with. I just realized that. Um remove that face. Okay, it doesn't really affect anything. I think it just, just makes it a little less rounded. Okay, cool. Uh, this needs to be a little more in the gun. So let's just push that in. Now that there's no geometry there. Okay, cool. So that's there. Uh, let's just remove any excess geometry. Again, this is just my optimization brain going haywire, but whatever. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, does that work? Kind of. I must say I can make that work, but I think it's fine. A little excess geometry won't hurt anyone. A little bit of that won't hurt. A little bit of Monica. A little bit of that won't hurt. Alright, there you go. Uh, maybe make the handle a bit thinner. And then... Add subdivision here. There you go. Nice. Uh, this thing. Uh... Fuck, uh, like that? <laughs> I don't know. Like, uh, origin. Oh, no. Not like that. There you go. Oh, what? I alt deed. Wait. Don't fucking tell me. Right. Oh, my freaking controls are now reversed. Actually, I like that that way. I was about to say, like, oh man, why is it reversed? Because usually Alt-D is my uh, my unlinked duplicate. Because in my job before, it was so common practice to just duplicate shit that, like, it's lagging the hell out of my Blender. So I decided to set Shift-D as a, as a, as a linked copy. And I was just like, okay, that's going to be my uh, my linked. Because it was just getting so annoying. Uh, this is okay. I think having a notch here would make more sense. So I'm just going to add that in geometry-wise. Speaking of geometry, I don't know what happened to uh, Geometry Dash 2.2. Is it released yet? Or is it still in the works? Which I don't really mind. Again, it's in the horizon. It's gonna happen. So, I don't need to worry that it's not gonna happen. But, I'm just wondering. Because he did say it's gonna be delayed. So, at worst, it could be just next year. You know? Just next year and then that's it. But, who knows? Who knows, really? There you go. I do remember this one, uh, this one interaction that I had with a Geometry Dash YouTuber. And I was like, oh wow, that's like kind of shitty, ain't it? 
um he because at, at the time i was uh i was basically getting into 3d and okay to be fair my 3d skills weren't great back then but at least i was able to get you know i was i was doing a gig where it's like oh i'm actually making money off of this and this person who was pretty big on youtube at the time like pretty big i don't know if they're still big now but they were, they were pretty big in terms of the youtube space um and they approached me being like yo would love to uh have like a sick 3d render of my of my uh cube and i was like okay sure i'm gonna make it and i made it right i made the model and then i was like all right that would be uh twenty dollars because i i think i charged just twenty dollars for the for the cube and he was like "Ooh, wait it's paid and i'm like what the fuck do you mean it's paid of course it's paid dumbass <laughs> like what the fuck do you mean? I like, that's uh, it seems a little stupid. Luckily, be before I was I was strong enough to be like, you know what? I'm not gonna cave in to your fifty thousand followers. I think he had fifty thousand followers. I could be wrong, but I'm not gonna cave into that. And I decided not to give it to him. And I'm like, okay, I stood strong to my uh, to my values. There you go. Okay, uh, I think I want this to be a little more big. Like that. Yeah, that makes a little more sense. Okay, so I'm definitely sticking to the reference a little bit better. To be fair, the AI reference I was kind of shit anyway. There was a lot of artifacts, so it doesn't really... Like, it's not very good. This is like a good reference, because this is a like clear, and the shape language is very direct. So it's very easy to follow, whereas that AI image is just a bunch of garbled, polished nonsense that I have no idea how to like actually turn into a like a actual model. So, or maybe I'm just bad. Could be either. <laughs> Could be either. Maybe both. Maybe the AI reference is shitty, and I'm bad. Have you ever thought about that? All right, I think I'm. I think that's good enough. I spent an hour making the model. This is the final. This is basically close enough to the final model. I think I'm gonna just adjust it a tad. Uh, I don't know if I should also separate the videos into segments where, oh, I made the model here, and then I will make the texturing part here. Like I'll make the the other part here. So I think I might do that. You know? Also, the music's back. I guess the music was just super duper low in, like, I guess the later half of the video that it just doesn't register in OBS. But yeah, there you go. The music is actually there. But, uh, yeah, like, I don't know uh, how to do these videos, to be fairly honest with you. Like, I don't know what's the correct way, even though there really isn't, as long as I get the job done, really. Which, by the way, I'm so surprised how hard the freaking tree was. Like, I'm not gonna lie, I was a bit cocky saying to myself, I don't need to work on a tree, I need to work on something else. I need to work on a, a big concept. I need to work on a really good concept. And I decided to knuckle down and be like, you know what, prove it. Prove you can make a good tree. And I made an okay tree. <laughs> I made a decent tree. It's not an amazing tree. Which is why it humbled the shit out of me, being like, Ah, you don't know shit. Brother, sit the fuck down. You don't know anything. You gotta, you gotta figure out how to do this, because you, you don't even know how to make a tree properly. Like, what the hell are you doing? So. I need to, I need to work on that. I just need to, I need to be better. I need to be better. Hey, I'm just fixing up my uh, the little like poly, like, like the little tries and stuff that I need to adjust. This is most likely. Um, eh. Wait, what the fuck is this? There you go. 
a lot of the times when you're looking at topology, it's like a lot of just, you know, if it looks weird, most likely it is. So just fix it. <laughs> my, my tip for today, if it looks weird, fix it. Thanks, man. Love that advice. Man, man, why does that go into tries? Did I just add that there? This also goes into tries. I think I just need to add uh, Yarka. And then this becomes a try. And then... Uh, can I, like, flow this into here? I think I can, right? So I'll just do this. Do this. Do this. Rem uh, actually, do I need to remove that? Uh... And I just gotta merge this. Merge this here. There you go. That flows a little nicer. Topology, everyone. That doesn't line up with everything else, though. So I think I'm just gonna dissolve that. Um, yeah, topology is one of those things where it's like, wow! You oh, very much underestimate how well it actually affects your entire thing. There you go. Okay. I think that's as close as I'm gonna get. I can make it like smoother if I really wanted to. I can add more I can add more topology on it. But honestly, I cannot be bothered at this point. I already spent an hour on this. You know what? Let's just face this one face and then we're good. And this face. What the hell? So many faces that are just not working properly. Uh how many are these? Just one. Okay. And then... Uh... Move this. And then these are one, two, three. Is it? Yeah, one, two... No, just two. There you go. And then one, two... Uh... Three, four. There you go. Alright, that's like clean enough. I don't wanna... I don't wanna, like, work on this a little more too much. There you go. Okay. I'm done with the basic model. I'm gonna work on the, the wraps now. Uh, how do I approach this? I could approach this by literally doing the lazy way, where I just make one wrap and then just duplicate it later. But I found that, that it looks cheap. Like, from what I... from when I did it, it just looks cheap. It doesn't look good. So I think I need to actually make multiple wraps, unwrap them, and then, uh, like just normally paint them because it's like I, 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 there's just no way to make them look pretty. Like I, I think I can mirror it if it makes it easier, but that's about it. That's the most that it will do. Just remove this. There you go. Uh, let's just soften these edges. Soften these. Actually, no. There's no need to soften the inside of there. And then, right there. There you go. I should make, like, a course. Because I, I, like, I, okay, look. I heard from someone that as long as you know how to do something, like, fairly okay... You can practically sell a course. Is that true? I probably can sell a course. It's just that I... I don't know what course on. Because I... Like, I could do it like a... Oh, a general uh, hand painting in Blender. Maybe. Right? Like, how to do... How to make hand painted assets in Blender. Uh, from start to finish. Right? That kind of thing. But... I don't know. I could do that. It's just a nice uh, way to get some extra months. I just need to make sure that I can share my work and be like, oh, that actually is good, you know? I think that's why. Which is probably where the imposter syndrome kicks in. It's like, oh, it's not good enough yet. I need to work on it more. Like, literally, I looked at my tree model. And I'm like, I don't know if I want to put this in my portfolio yet. Which is like, you know, it's fine to be critical of your own work and look at it with critical eyes and be like, okay, you know what? I can I can work on this better, right? 
but I feel like that also hinders you being like, well, if you're not gonna make anything as good as what you wanted, then you're probably are just never gonna get there. So I probably should just add it on the anyway. Why until I find something that I'm like, oh, this actually looks good now, right? Then remove the old work, which is usually what you're supposed to do when you're doing an art portfolio. What you're supposed to do is supposed to have uh, a bunch of like old work if you have new work which is what you're supposed to do you're supposed to have new stuff uh and then it's just gonna like allow you to replace that old work and then have a new one that actually looks better so that's usually how it's supposed to go okay uh, I don't know why I mirrored this. I literally told myself that I'm not gonna... That I need this to be, like, separated. But... Good old me being really dumb. Okay. Okay, there's, like, three wraps in there. So I'm gonna... Actually, sculpting would probably work here a little better. Let's do, like, a big wrap here. I also just watched uh, Savannah's uh, link to Hades style, and brother, she's just amazing. Not only is she good, her videos are so entertaining. Holy shit. God damn. Like, she's so good at her job. <laughs> it's so cool. She's like an idol to me. Not in that sense. Like, idol meaning, like, I, I find her to be, a, like, a, a, an idol artist. I don't think that made it any better. Man, saying idol feels weird now. Because idol feels like a, I don't know, like a cultish, it has, like, a cultish uh, connotation to it now. To me, anyway. I don't know if it's just anyone else. I'm probably the only one that's thinking like that. I don't know. Like, I used to watch uh, American... What was it? American Idol? I didn't think that the word idol was weird. I thought idol was cool. Idol was like a like a role model. A star. I'm probably overthinking the fuck out of this. So I probably should just shut up. <laughs> Before I say anything stupid, I probably should just shut up and just say, Oh yeah, it's a normal ass word. Weirdo. Why are you thinking about this so much? It's a freaking word. There you go. Alright. Uh, is that weird? Or is that... There you go. Uh, I kind of want to expand it. In the concept, it's a bit more thick on this. I think I'm just going to expand this side. There you go. I'm going to make this go down. And everything else will follow through. I'm going to make the wood peak a little bit. So it's like... Going. You know what? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna make the texturing a separate video and I'm gonna make the modeling a separate video. So it makes a little more sense because in the last one, all I did was I, I modeled it, right? I modeled the tree and then I also textured it a bit and then I continued texturing on part two, which kind of just feels weird. I don't know. It doesn't have any, any like cohesion. I wish it has cohesion. So I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna make it more cohesive. It also gives me more time to make work on the videos because that means like, oh, I can work on part two and I can still do this commentary stuff while I'm doing that. Because I'm still gonna do it in the same day. Spoilers. Like, I, <laughs> I work on both videos on the same day anyway. So, I, like, there's no need for me to post everything on the same day because that's what I did for the stylized tree. I was like, oh yeah, let's just post that, both of them, right there. And, uh, yeah, I just didn't, uh, I probably should have just waited and given it a little more thought. Yeah. Just a little bit more thought. Not, not exactly something that I am very known for, but it is what it is. There you go. Alrighty. Um, we got the reps, we got the gun, we got something... And 
There you go. Boy, if I went for this, I would have been fucked. <laughs> I was thinking of doing this. Jesus Christ. All right. Well, there you go. That's the model. I will catch you on the next video. And I'll be texturing this bad boy. Um, it might take a day before the video gets up. But if you're watching this, then most likely the other one is already out. Because this channel is dead. No one watches it. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care.